伦比亚大学教授，同时也是美国知名中国研究学者李安友接受 TVBS 国际评论员余文琪专访。对于他先前说过，他不认为大陆国家主席习近平会在未来五年尝试入侵台湾，有三个理由。He assesses that Chinese power is increasing and American power is diminishing in a secular way. That is over a long period of time. So the future will be a better time. Mm. Uh, to attack when the United States won't fight back.、Um, secondly, he thinks, and here I think he's probably wrong, but he thinks the political balance within Taiwan is still not settled. And thirdly, that he knows that his and the Ukraine war has only reinforced his perception that the Chinese military isn't ready yet to win. That war. Li An Yu 认为，目前没有看到中国国内或外交政策产生大变化。不过，台湾问题仍是重中之重。他认为，中国对台湾一直保有战略耐心。战略耐心不只是对台湾，对香港、新疆和西藏也是如此。I think Xi Jinping feels that he still has some leverage. I do not see a prospect of their making the the most of the population of Taiwan love. The People's Republic and say, "Oh, I I want to be part of that big picture." No, it's going the other direction with all of these populations because the regime is so, let's face it, unattractive. But Beijing government doesn't seem to realize that they haven't given up wanting to be loved by these other populations. 至于台湾明年一月即将举行总统大选，李安友也很关注。对于国民两党推派出来的人选，李安友特别好奇赖清德的两岸政策会不会依循蔡政府路线。We're all sort of、um, curious about、uh, Lai Qingde's stance because in the past he's had the reputation as somebody who's very pro-independence, but if he Were to become president, would he stick to the Tsai Ing-wen、mm-hmm. stance, which, which in Washington and in the United States has been viewed as very smart, you know,、mm-hmm. correct?、Mm-hmm. If he sticks to the light to the Tsai Ing-wen position, Beijing will not be happy that the DPP got elected, but neither will Lai Qingde's policy trigger a crisis. 李安友认为，侯友谊将贯彻国民党核心理念，也就是在不追求统一的情况下，寻求降低与中国大陆的紧张关系。如此一来，两岸维持现状，暂时不会有危机。台湾总统大选的结果会如何牵动美中台局势？后续有待观察。TVBS 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。